Hello Ratbags, I stayed up really late in the UK to show you guys the live stream and we watched it together for nearly an hour to hear Jesse, the lead creator, directive, um, director of Arc Survival Evolved, come on for five minute talk. He was a bit late or there was a problem, I don't know what was going on, but it ended up being about half an hour, 40 minutes late. So we streamed for an hour, you guys were getting hyped, I had the most people I've ever had in the stream and we also had some of the, the, the worst appearance in a while I think I've seen. They did announce some stuff. But it wasn't it wasn't very good stuff. I'm going to go through exactly what he announced. Um, afterwards, on Twitter, Jesse was actually ten times more helpful and announced a bunch of other things that are definitely much more positive. But in this five minute appearance, it just wasn't the best appearance ever. He basically just tried selling that the arc is going to look great on an Xbox X. If you don't know what the Xbox X is, it is the brand new name for the Xbox Scorpio. And it was just, just not the right time to do it as the first appearance at E3. Should have been something to get us really excited. But we'll go through the information and I'll, I'll tell you why I'm not as pissed off as I was. Because I, I had nearly ended up venting my spleen on Twitter. So Jesse went on Twitter immediately after and tweeted this tweet. And it does give a bit more information. Um, and I guess not as grumpy afterwards. But it says here that the ARC available day one on Xbox X with PC Epic settings. So if you are going to be picking up the new Scorpio the Xbox X in November, on day one there'll be an update that you'll be able to have it supposedly run on Epic settings. Now I say supposedly because at the moment Xbox is, I keep using the word potato, but it is running like a potato on Xbox. It's got worse. They, they did bring the... Um, detailed graphics option in and that improved things a lot but at the moment xbox arc is just truly looking poor like compared to playstation and, and obviously pc is always going to look better but the playstation looks five times better than xbox at the moment so i hope it's part of the you know the development process i really hope that, that it's not going to stay that way because honest to god it's looking like a potato so apparently the Xbox X will run it at epic settings, it's going to run it at this blah blah frame rate, 1080p or whatever it is. So that stuff doesn't interest me because he basically just tried selling Scorpios to people. What does interest me is his other news which was a bit more positive. So Windows 10 confirmed crossplay with Xbox. So they announced this before Christmas that they were looking into crossplay that you'd be able to play Arc on your Xbox with Arc players on PC not ARC, Xbox and PlayStation. They were also looking into factors where they could possibly make PlayStation players be able to play with PC players. So just like Rocket League. Well, that's good, that's confirmed. We are going to get some more information about that soon. Um, and it does look like it's, it is a winner. Then the next one was cross-buy Xbox Windows 10. Buy one, own all. So if you bought ARC on your Xbox, you will be able to play it on your PC. Likewise, if you bought it on Windows 10, you'll be able to play it on your Xbox. You do not need to buy two separate versions. And that's really good. That You know, to be fair, that's pretty good. Except it doesn't apply to Steam. I did ask Jesse, and I did send him about four or five pissed off tweets, so I'm, I'm lucky he replied, really. But um, I said, will cross-buy be retrospective? Um, that news just about stops me venting at such a terrible appearance. I know you got a tease, but damn. And he said, yes, retroactive cross-buy for everyone. So if you have bought it in the past for Xbox, you'll be able to play it on your PC. You will not have to buy another copy. And if you have bought it on your Windows 10, then you will be able to play it on your Xbox. Then someone else asked about the base game on Steam. And he said, Steam is a different version, not Xbox, Windows 10 compatible. So that's, that's a bit of a kicker because most people do buy their games off Steam. Steam is the number one store. So if you bought it on Steam, like I did, you will not be able to utilise that. I mean, it doesn't matter for me because I own the game on bloody every console. But for many of you looking to maybe make an upgrade to PC or maybe you want to have something a bit more uh, portable with your Xbox, you will have to buy it again if you bought the copy on Steam. So if you're thinking about buying the game, do not buy it on Steam. Go ahead and buy it on Windows 10 at least, so that you can transfer it to your console. So it was a bit of a letdown. It was a load of hype, and it just really wasn't enough information, I don't think. Like, we, we definitely would have preferred something else. We've been overhyped about the DLC. If there is DLC, we don't know if there is, but we want to find out what that pitch was that Jeremy was tweeting about. So yeah, it, it would have been better to have announced something like that first. 
there are going to be two more live streams. I'm still going to live stream both of them. Um, hopefully it will be better news this time, guys. So stay tuned on my channel tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern time. So that's 8 p.m. UK time. Jesse's going to be on Twitch. And hopefully he'll have more information about some of the actual teases they've been letting us know. It's a hard thing to gauge, like getting people hyped up, getting people teased about things to generate more interest is totally okay, it's totally cool. But to, to, at this stage, when the game has been out so long, to spend five minutes talking about how great it looks on a console that's not even out yet is pretty piss poor compared to like how the state of the game is at the moment. And yes, before you all jump down my throat, I know the game is in early access, but comparatively, at the moment, the Xbox does not look as good as PlayStation. The PlayStation is miles ahead in terms of the graphical quality. So we, I don't really want to hear that the next version of it on the next Xbox console is going to be the best ever. But that's just, just my opinion. As ever, I am Joe Plays Games with ARC News with Opinion. Catch me for the live streams. Like I said, hopefully it'll be more entertaining. Maybe I can do some shots or something if they're not. And I'll see you rat bags later on.